Hello, my name is Henrik Samuelsson, Marketing and Communication Manager at uh, Linz Racing, and we are at the Nürburgring in uh, Germany at the Eiffel uh, Mountains, and we are doing some tests on uh, this car, the Evo 10, and it's got our road and track uh, assortment shock absorbers on, and uh, it is a one-way adjustable shock absorber. And we will uh, race this one and do some testing with uh, the professional test rider Ron Simons. So we will film it and we will test it as much as we can and give all the information to you guys out there. Now you, uh, as a chief instructor, uh, you have, uh, I can guess, a lot of uh, laps on, on the Nimba ring. Uh, yeah, I did many, many, many laps. I walked it a lot, I uh, put it on the bicycle a lot, uh, and it's flat out on the bicycle, <laughs> right, everywhere. Um, but uh, laps in, uh, in cars, I did about uh, a thousand laps a year in a period where we did a lot of uh, instruction in public, uh, public sessions. And uh, that's the interesting part of it. It was mainly slow laps because we had customers behind. And it's, it's um, even more difficult to put it on the right line if you're going slowly because the car is not carried by centrifugal forces, right? So it has to come out of your own arms. And that's uh, why the line is so... I think I can drive it at night with my eyes closed, almost, right? It's, it's very simple because you know exactly where everything is and it's, uh, uh, it's great to be able to do that. Yeah. What is the biggest challenge for, for a car and a chassis and a suspension on the, on the Nürburgring? Well, the, the biggest thing is that, that the, the, the compromise here is even bigger than, than anywhere else because you need to have it soft enough to cope with all the bumps and the, uh, you know, the imperfect... Uh, tarmac but still it needs to be quite firm uh, to cope with all the compressions right it should it shouldn't bottom out uh, so it needs to be quite firm but if it's too firm you're bouncing from left to right and, and finally leaving the track like a ping pong ball Standing here with Mats Toschel, uh, he's the product manager for the automotive uh, segment at the Linz Racing, and uh, we have been trying and testing with the new uh, Evo 10 with the new road and track assortment, and we have them also on display here. And uh, Mats, this is not a shock only for racing. This is also a, a type of shock that you can actually use going outside the racetrack as well, isn't it so? Yes, for sure. And th this is one of the issues who we spent a lot of time with when we created this DFV valve so that you can still keep your good comfort feeling on the road with using it daily back to, forth to work. And of course, where, when you just can change a few clicks when you're going for a track day, track competition or whatever you use the car for on a closed circuit when you really can push it. What's your feeling now? We're standing here at the Nimbering. We can actually hear the cars uh, uh, going by here in a really high speed. Uh, how does it feel being here now presenting these uh, products and uh, being in these uh, famous surroundings? Well, of course, that feels really good because th th this is what everyone is looking for when you want to push your car and you have a long track, you can have a lot of feelings, but you need to have a safe car, full control because it's a quite dangerous track if you want to push your car and we think we have a really safe solution where we have a good car in all situations. All right, we're in the um, Mitsubishi Evo 10, Nürburgring Nordschleife, beautiful day. Uh, event is GT Nürburgring, so I hope we have, we're going to have this event for many, many years. Um, the 
car is equipped with a uh, rotor track suspension from Erdens and uh, we already uh, recorded a few laps and uh, we're very 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 positive about the results and that's what we've done now and you can see that the car's turned in is absolutely brilliant right and again it's three tires Right now we've been out for two days now testing. Uh, yesterday was testing on uh, public road just to get the setting all right. But now today we've been on the Nürburgring and we've been doing a lot of testing today. And uh, Ron Simons has been out now and I just want to hear what is his true opinion now driving really hard with our products. Ron, what do you think? This is of course the truth because on the streets is only street. Uh, now we're on the Nordschleife uh, and uh, the car is absolutely a dream to drive. Um, what we have here is a very difficult car, in the Mitsubishi Evo 10 it's a four-wheel drive car, uh, we're running on street cars and I can't you know, stress the fact too hard to, that it's absolutely a street tire car at the moment um, and the balance is absolutely lovely, right? You're the, the turn in is there, uh, you can have the, the car a, a bit sideways and control it on the throttle um, and if you need that bit more you just lift off and the rear lessons and uh, it's absolutely great. So it sounds really great then. It sounds like we have hit the nail. Yeah, I'm uh, very happy with the car. I would love to try it on semi slicks now. Bring them on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Thank you, Rob. Okay, thanks.